Lip dubs are the latest trend at high schools and universities across North America. Students perform their own take on a popular song while recording the effort with a single camera that moves throughout the school, and they do it in just one take. As A News reporter Gord Kerbis shows us, two Comox Valley schools are launching their own lip dubs. The students are in motion and so is the camera, capturing the population of Brooklyn Elementary School in their version of a lip dub. When you watch it on the internet, you can see that they're having fun, but when you're actually here and you see the joy in the kids' face, it's really incredible just to feel how much fun they're having. Andrea James is operating the camera, trying to include every student, knowing she's creating an artifact of their time at the school. This is a memory that they'll never forget, and in 20 years, they can show this video and relive this moment, and I think that's really important. Seeing lip dubs on the internet is one thing, but getting a behind-the-scenes look is another. Making sure each gymnast, sign waver, and ballerina is in position for when the camera comes by. The coordination of it was probably the key thing. You know, we, we mapped out a route, and that was probably the key thing, mapping out a route, getting the teachers, um, knowing when the camera's going to come through. The students at Brooklyn had a special reason for doing this. They're using it to help say goodbye to their school, which will close next year. Students over at Vanier Secondary also did a lip dub. Theirs was designed to show off student pride. We wanted to remind our, our staff and students that this is a really good place to be a part of. Uh, we also wanted the, the world to see. And the world will see it. Yesterday, their lip dub was uploaded to YouTube. They're hoping for 10,000 views by the end of summer, but in just one day, they have more than 3,500. This is a truly unique and special place, and we're proud of it, and we don't mind sharing that with folks. Um, and it's a bit of a legacy project as well. This is something that we wanted to kind of keep on the shelf and be able to bring out once in a while and say, hey, let's look what we did, and this is who we are. For both Vanier and Brooklyn, the productions appear effortless and don't reflect the hours of coordination that was required to pull them together. It was such a great way to get kids, adults, parents, teachers. It brought everybody together. Music is such a bonding thing, a perfect medium to get everybody on the same page. Those efforts will be viewable for years to come. In the Comox Valley, Gord Kerbis, A News.